a trumpeting official from the Department of Justice has been caught hiding payoff money for his wife from the infamous dirty dossier company Fusion GPS. Now, the liberal hack is facing a brutal reality check that you don't want to miss. Our do-nothing Attorney General Jeff Sessions cannot seem to reinstill even the smallest amount of integrity to the Department of Justice, and many think he should step down. In particular, Bruce or one of Sessions' employees, has been caught withholding vital information about payments made to his wife Nelly or from Fusion GPS, the company responsible for the fake steel dossier on President Donald Trump. AD adds by Rev Content according to the Gateway Pundit, a former U.S. attorney and Fox News anchor Greg Jarrett railed against DOJ official Bruce Orr who was recently found to be hiding his wife's Fusion GPS payments from ethics officials. Jarrett points out that, demoted DOJ official Bruce Orr was being given information from his wife Nellie Orr, who worked for Fusion GPS. Bruce Orr then took the Doppler research given to him by his wife and fed it to the corrupt FBI. Bruce Orr intentionally did not disclose his wife's payments from Fusion GPS, it all looks normal, until you take a second look. 80 pics Brad O'Foex ads by Rev Content find out more greater than 83,064 in addition, or never obtained a conflict of interest waiver from his superiors to keep his conduct above board. Fusion GPS co-founder Glenn Simpson recently admitted in a court document that his firm employed Nellie Orr, the wife of Bruce Orr, to investigate then-candidate Donald Trump. It's also important to understand that Nellie Orr, who worked at Fusion GPS last year when the firm was working for the Clinton presidential campaign compiling the controversial anti-Trump Russian dossier and the wife of demoted Department of Justice official Bruce Orr is listed as working for the CIA's Open Source Works Department in a 2010 DOJ report. Ads by Rev Content Doing this before bed could help you regrow your hair Watch this regrow hair X The unusual link between coconut oil and Alzheimer's memory repair X Y doctors in the know no longer prescribe diabetes medication Heatic tips X The Gateway Pundits Kristen Taylor reported in December that a June 2010 report posted by the DOJ titled Expert Working Group Report on International Organized Crime lists Nelly or as a participant representing open source works. Bruce Orr is listed, right above his wife, as Chief, Organized Crime and Racketeering Section, Criminal Division, U.S. Department of Justice. Glenn Simpson is listed as Senior Fellow International Assessment and Strategy Center. How on earth are these people allowed to infiltrate our government agencies at the highest levels and use the positions to carry out a political war on conservatives? This is the kind of thing that only happens in banana republics. The corruption in Barack Obama's DOJ and FBI is astounding. We are way overdue for a thorough investigation, and the corrupt people involved need to go to prison for a few decades. During the clip where Jarrett interviewed Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch, he exposed Orr and his wife for the colossal conflict of interest taking place as a result of the corrupt behavior. According to Daily Caller, this couple fed the FBI information specifically for the purpose of starting an investigation into Trump, then obtaining FISA warrants in order to conduct political surveillance. All of this corruption by deep state operatives leads back to Barack Obama and his administration. The moment Obama realized that Trump had a shot at winning the presidency, he started conspiring against him with the help of former FBI Director James Comey, former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, and corrupt agents such as Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Congress needs to intervene and ensure that Robert Mueller is fired immediately and that his band of liberal hacks is sent back to whatever hole they crawled out of. America spoke during the last presidential election and chose Trump to lead our country. Liberals who conspired against our president to sabotage his administration should be held accountable. It all looks normal, until you take a second look. 80 picks Brad Ofoex ads by Rev Content find out more greater than 46,017 President Donald Trump should fire Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his corrupt Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein for the failure to restore integrity to the DOJ and the role they played in allowing Barack Obama's deep state zero operatives to turn our government into a national embarrassment.